Hello everybody and welcome back to the last part of our advanced port scanner. Right now we managed to actually make a function called port scan which will actually try to resolve the IP address by hostname and hostname by IP address. Then for each port in the specified ports in our command right here we will actually run a function called con connection scan which will actually determine whether that port is closed or open. We uh, set that on all of the separate threads and we also set the default timeout to be one second. We call that function down here as we can see ports can target host target ports. Then once it goes right here it will start executing all of this code. Then it will run all of the different threads on connection scan function which we still remain to code. So let us go up here. Make def or let me just def con scan. Once again, make sure that you specify the same name for the function as here. So con scan, and we need to specify the arguments, which will be target host and target port. Now right here, we do not need to specify the integer. So we all we have to do is specify the two dots at the end. And right now we will actually try to perform the same thing that we actually did in the previous uh, programs, which is just trying to connect. So let's try run the try and accept rule. In the try rule we will actually try to actually uh, make a socket. So let's make a sock object which will actually try or not try, we need to actually make it to be first of all the IPv4, so AF underscore INET and then sock stream for the TCP. Now in the previous programs you remember that this was uh, like this, so socket.af.inet and socket.sockstream as well as this was socket.socket, .socket. well, it is not in this case because as I said in the previous videos, we imported it like this, so we do not need to specify the first socket part in all of those functions. So it is easier to just write one socket and not twice socket, so let me delete all of this. Since we don't need it, since we imported the library as from socket import everything, and basically we will now try to connect to those ports. So we can just perform sock.connect or open two brackets, close two brackets and between we need to specify the target host and we need to specify the target port. So this is all we actually need to do in order to perform the trying of the connection. All we have to do right now is also print whether that port is closed or open. So print, if it manages to connect it we will print uh, let's print it like this, so percent %d for the integer, then slash, and we will just type it right here, so tcp, so we know that the port is scanned with tcp, open. Let's add the capital O, maybe it looks better, I don't even know, you can write anything you want right here, and we need to specify the percentage and then target port, so we know which variable we need to specify instead of the uh, percent %d and let's add space right here and in the except rule all we have to do is actually print percent %d tcp close and close the quotes and then add the percentage and then target port and finally so finally we need to print connection.closed or sock.close. We want to close the connection so our program can close successfully, so sock.close. And this is our entire program. So if we coded everything correctly, which I believe we did, this right now should actually uh, be able to scan our Windows 10 machine or basically any other uh, website that you want to scan. So let us control O this. We just double check if we coded everything properly. Everything should be good to go. So control X to exit. And right now, if I just type here advanced scanner, you can see that we actually have, oh, I'm missing the double equal down here. So right here, make sure to specify double equal always, since one equal actually means that you're adding the, val the value to a variable and double equals basically checks whether these two uh, are actually equal. So let's control O, then control X. 
and we get printed out the usage of our program. So right now let's try to specify the usage of our program, which we will use 1IT minus H for the host, which we will use 1IT 2.168.1.4 for my Windows 10 PC. And minus P, let's actually first of all scan uh, one port, which will be 135. If I just run this, we can see scan results for 192.168.1.4, uh, 135 TCP open. Now let's actually try to scan multiple ports with the different, uh, with separated by comma. So 135, 22, 443, 445. Let's try to scan this. As we can see, it finished. It found two open ports. So 135 TCP open. 445 TCP open and 22 and 443 are closed ports. So as we can see it finishes relatively fast and it also prints out in the nice manner whether the port is closed or open. Now if you want to, so let me just, you can actually make the same thing as in the previous video whether that, whether the print statements will be printed out in red or green whether the port is closed or open. But I will not be doing that right now since I already showed you how to do it. Just make sure that you need to run it afterwards with Python 3 since the term color library that we used in the previous videos uh, is actually only in Python 3. And the print statement is different in Python 3. Everything else I believe will stay the same. But one, if you want to print, the difference in printing in Python 3 and Python 2 is for example, let me just show you. In Python 2 you can just specify it like this, so print hello, and in Python 3 you will need to specify it like this, print hello. You need to specify all of the print statements between the brackets. So let me just delete this since we do not need it. Let us now try to actually scan uh, a website. So let's actually try to scan for one port, so let's try to scan for 135 the website which is this one. Now you can specify any website you want and you just basically select it right there, you select the port and let's see whether that port is closed or open. Now I hope I specified the correct name. Scan results for this IP address. As we can see it successfully re resolved the IP address of this website. Now we can check it out by copying the website and using NSLOOKUP, which is a program that is already pre-installed in Kali Linux, to see whether the IP addresses do match. And as we can see, they do match indeed. So the, ad the IP address for this host right here is this one. And also the, co the port that we scanned is actually a closed port. So our uh, program works really well. Uh, basically this is the only thing we can actually do with the ports, we can scan them. But in the next videos we can actually try to see uh, whether some of those ports will return something back to us. Now sometimes whether, for example, the port is 22, which is SSH, or 21 for the FTP, the, the software running on those open ports can actually return a banner uh, from the version of those software running. So we can actually see what version of software is running on a certain open port. But in order for us to do that, I will show you in the next video how we can actually install a virtual machine which is called Metasploitable, we'll use Metasploitable 2, in order to have something to scan and in order to have something to attack in the future videos. So hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I see you in the next one. Bye!